Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a quick demo of Blood Bank Management System in C Sharp. Okay, so before starting, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon. So let's begin with that. Here you can see this. This is a login form, and here we have to enter the username and password. So my username is btechdays, and my password is pass. Here you can see this this is a show and hide button so if i click on this this will show what i have written over here and when i click on this it will hide the password so here you can see this a small checkbox that is accept terms and condition if i don't check this checkbox then we cannot log in when i check this checkbox then this button gets enabled so here you can see this when i click on this this will move to dashboard here you can see this these are the modules which i am providing and here you can see this this is a time this is a clock actually okay so the time is current time is running okay so here you can see this first we have donor so here you can see this the it contains three modules that is add new update details and all, all donor details so i'm going to add new so when i click on this a new form is on your display okay here you can see this we have to enter a few details of the donor and this is the id which is which is being fetched from the database okay so when you enter the detail of the user then this id will be assigned to that user so suppose i am going to add a new record that is rt something like this and father name is rakesh and mother name is something neetu and let me select the date of birth of this girl to July 1989 and like this. Mobile so number will be something like this. And let me select the gender female at email at rate gmail.com. Blood group E positive. Actually, she is a new donor who is going to donate the blood. And she is from New Delhi okay so new delhi india and i'm going to save when i click on this data process successful okay so you can see this data is saved in the database and i'm going to reset this so that all the details will be cleared so i'm going to close this form after this this data is saved into the database now i'm going to click on this here you can see this previously the id was three but now it's four so three id three is assigned to that girl that is rt so i'm going to update the detail of rt suppose she has written wrong address so three is the id of that girl so when i search okay okay so i have made some mistake i guess so let me check that quickly actually this uh, detail is actually running in the back so i have to actually change the small stuff over here so i will do that don't worry about that here you can see this and all donor details the id of rt is actually 4 so i can update the id of rt by writing over here 4 when i search this here you can see this all the details are visible if i try to enter some wrong user id then it will definitely say invalid id here you can see this okay so i'm going to enter and when i click on this reset all the data will be clear so i'm going to update the detail of rt so let me just change its blood group okay so here you can see this a positive is his blood group so i'm going to change this to o negative and save data process successfully and okay and click on reset and close this now i'm going to check this if the data is updated or not here you can see this now blood group is o positive here it's visible okay so i hope you understand this after that i'm going to search blood donor so search by location suppose you have n number of records okay so you have actually thousands of donors so if you want to search by location suppose in uh, new delhi area you are you are going to search so if you enter new delhi then it will search on the basis of that okay here you can see this the basis of new delhi here you can see this on the basis of new delhi and if i enter if I replace this and I, if I enter India, so actually India is not in the address, it's actually in the sub part. So I, I have to enter New Delhi, India. So here in this address mode, I have set both conditions. Either you can search by city or you can search by address. If I enter Patna, then it will search this. Here you can see this. 
if I enter Patna Bihar, then still it will visible. Okay, so here you can see this. If I enter Patna Bihar, it's still visible. Okay, so I'm going to show this difference clearly. Here you can see this. In this city is London, and in address US. So I'm going to write London first. You can see this. London is visible. It, it means it clearly means that for now this is searching by city. I'm going to change this to US. US. Still here you can see this. We found some record because we are now searching on the basis of this column. Okay, so I hope you understand this. After that, I'm going to search by blood group. Suppose you have thousands of records and you want a specific uh, donor like O positive blood groups or O negative. So O negative is RT. So currently we have added that. Here you can see this. And if you want any other, so when I replace, when I make this text box empty, so everything is removed. A positive if I enter a positive then this blur this person Kumar is actually a positive okay so till here the task is done so close this and I actually skip one small stuff that is when you enter something let me just here you can see this when you enter open this all donor detail and when you click on this print here you can see this a small button that is print so if you need if you want to work with this print button then you have to make a microsoft account which is, that's not a big issue everyone knows how to make an account so i'm going to click on this when i click on this here you can see this printing print page one document okay so it's opening a microsoft account so i have actually already logged in into this so it will directly show me the print page okay so here you can see asking for which page you want to print okay so this one and hit ok so here you can see this this is the same view okay so it's loading a little bit here you can see this it's actually the same view which right now visible over here so okay so let me just close this and now we can observe that the data is being printed okay so not to worry about that so here you can see this printer is working i'm going to show you each of the stuff step by step not to worry uh, our task till here is done so i'm going to check click on this stock here you can see this we have three options that is increase decrease or detail so here when you click on this here you can see this suppose uh five user has come to our donation center blood donation bank center and here suppose donor a has donated two units of blood so i'm going to increase this to a plus here you can observe that it's 101 and I'm going to increase it by 2. So now the value needs to be 103. So increase and okay. Here you can see this the value is now 103. In the same way, if O negative is also increased to 10. Okay, sorry, by 2. So here you can see this 102. I'm going to increase it by 8 more or 9 more so that it becomes triple 1. So increase. Here you can see this O negative is triple 1. So I'm going to show you each of these stuff, how to code on this. And here we have decrease. So here you can see this O negative is 111. And I'm suppose uh, someone we have allotted some blood urine to some person in need. So I'm going to decrease. Suppose someone need O negative blood group and I want to donate him to. Okay, so I'm going to decrease. And here you can see this. O negative is now 109 so here you can see this this stuff is working fine and I'm going to check all the stock so detail here you can see this all the stock in the same way you can print this stock detail okay so let me just close this after this finally we have this donor detail so delete donor and here we have added RT whose ID is 4 and search here you can see this we can actually delete this donor so when I click on this delete are you sure you want to delete so if you click on OK, this will delete the record and if you cancel, nothing will happen. And reset will definitely clear the fields. Okay, so let me close this stuff. And here we have logout button. So when I click on this logout, this will move back to the login screen. So let me just click on this. Here you can see this. We are on the login screen. So let me just start this by typing the user ID and password. Okay. And finally, we have one close button. So when I click on this, this will close the application. So I'm going to click on this. Okay. So don't worry about that. I'm going to teach you each of these small stuff. So just stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.